Good morning, everybody. It's another new day. Arrived right on time again with a nice blue sky for us. A little bit frosty this morning. It's a little bit, a little bit colder than it's been recently, but it's a, it's still warmer than what it usually would be at this time of year around here. So we've had a very mild year so far. And I'm not going to complain about it, and I don't want to jinx it, so knock on wood. It's been a nice warm year. This tree we're going to have cut down as soon as possible. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it grows very crooked. You see? Because there used to be another tree right there, and I'm guessing as they both grew together, that one pushed this one this way. And I'm scared that in a windstorm, if we have a, ever have a bad windstorm here, that's going to fall on our neighbor's house. Got ourselves a new toaster. The gift card from Amazon. Very fancy. Her dad and stepmom got a new puppy. What Yesterday. kind of puppy is it? He's a shorky, a Shih Tzu Yorkie. Oh, is he going to be a little yappy? No, not if you no? train it out of him. Okay. <laughs> Shih Tzu, and I think of... Yeah, I'm not a Shih Tzu fan, but Yorkies are pretty cute. Yorkies I'm just not a good? small dog person, believe it or not. I just like dogs. But he's I, adorable. I prefer big dogs myself, but yeah, I like too. dogs. And no road trip, no matter how small, starts without Timmy's. I just noticed they don't have any Tim Hortons signs on this side of their building. How are people in the drive through supposed to know where they are? Actually, it's true. When I worked at Tim Hortons, at least once a week, we would have a senior citizen coming through ordering a Big Mac and not knowing where they were. It was kind of sad. Also scary that they were driving. Did you give them a Big Mac? Did you direct them to the nearest Big Mac? I did, and I, I always Good. let them know that gently that they were actually at Tim Hortons and thinking in the back of my mind, please don't kill anyone on your way to McDonald's. <laughs> but usually businesses would have their name all around. I guess it's back there. I don't know. Meaningless topic. Doesn't matter. As long as they have my coffee. That's all that matters. That's right. I don't have anything. Could I get a roast beef sandwich? For sure. Uh, potato wedges with spicy mayo. With spicy mayo, okay. Yeah, and a large, and a large steep tea with one large milk. Steep tea with one milk, okay. And half the sugar. Half, half the sugar. sugar. Half the sugar, yeah. <laughs> and uh, could I also get a, a crispy chicken sandwich? A crispy chicken sandwich, like the craveable? Yeah. Okay. And also uh, potato wedges with that. And a uh, large coffee with two cream. And a shot of espresso. A large coffee, two cream with a shot of espresso? Yeah. And uh, what kind of dipping sauce were you wanting for the other wedges? Ranch, please. Ranch, for sure. Is there anything else I can feed today? That is it. Uh, okay, the total comes up to 20, 28 at the window. Super duper. Darn it. You know, now that I think about it, ordering that much, we really should have gone inside. We're those people right now. I forgot that we could because they've had it closed for so long. Yeah, and it's just habit now to go through a drive through Yeah, now they let us go inside. I keep forgetting. Yeah, you're right. We should have gone inside. We're those people. We're those people. I apologize if the person behind us is watching. Who knocked down the gate again, Diesel? Diesel? Who knocked the gate down? Was Somebody was in the window when he was supposed to be in the room. Chevy was still in the room, he didn't leave, even though the gate fell down. Was Diesel a bad boy, Chevy? But you were a good boy? These kids, these kids. Commander, Commander, we need a status report. Who did it? Who did it, bud? Was it Diesel? He was. Diesel? Look how bad he feels. Why'd you knock the, the, the gate down again, buddy? Why'd you knock the gate? You know you're not supposed to do that. 
Was there someone at the door? Hmm? You'll be okay, buddy. Just stop doing that, okay? Stop it. It's the second time he's done that. So we leave them in their room when we're not here. So they have this big bed to lay on, king size bed, bigger than the bed we got. And uh, we just put the gate up here right, so that the airflow can still flow in the house and everything. Because if we don't, diesel goes absolutely crazy if someone comes to the door, if they're delivering a package or just ringing the doorbell or anybody walks by too close, he goes a little crazy and he's ripped down curtains before. So we're working on that. But in the meantime, while we're not here, they stay in their room so that they don't hurt themselves or damage the house. But sometimes, lately, he's been knocking the gate down. He's usually good, though. Diesel, come here. Come on. You're still a good boy. Just, just recently, buddy, you've had a little bit of uh, It's just twice. It's okay. It's Couple okay. of hiccups. The hiccups. So you're all probably wondering uh, how the grain hauling job is going or went. And I'm not going to go too deep into it, but it did not work out, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't see eye to eye and uh, it really wasn't the place I thought it was. I, I'm not going to go into details, but I think that there's a reason why there's such a high turnover rate. It's not for me. It's not for me. And as a side note, as a second thing as well, uh, the the grain dust that I was dealing with as well was causing me to have a little bit of an allergic reaction, I think. Uh, it was closing up my sinuses. Like when I got a face full of dust the one time uh, while I was unloading, uh, my sinuses closed up and my breathing got a little bit heavier, which tells me I'm probably allergic to grain dust a little bit. And it sort of makes sense. It reminds me of my childhood. I think I had somewhat of the same reactions while I was working on a farm. And uh, so it probably would have been a problem. I would have just combated that by wearing an N95 mask. Not a big deal. I was really excited about the job, but as I said, it just turned out to be something different than I thought it was. Chevy? Chevy? I gotta spend more time with you like this anyway. So the hours would have been really long, uh, you know, getting up really early, getting home really late every night, and I was totally okay with that. It would have made it work. But I found something else that's much closer to home, that uh, I can sleep longer in the mornings, and I can also uh, get home sooner in the evenings spend more time here and it'll work out perfectly for me I think so we'll be okay we'll be okay it's probably better that I stay away from the allergies anyways and if grain is causing me to have reactions who knows if it would get worse over time even if I did wear the mask it's probably not good for my lungs if they seem to not like it very much and meh tomorrow's gonna be a good day though it's gonna be a good day. Going on? It's, oh, oh my, it's a party. Was I invited? No, it's over now. Oh. No truckers allowed. Diesel's retired, so he doesn't count. How about a super trucker? So, with uh, all of these changes happening in my life uh, and with the vlog, uh, we're going to be incorporating a whole bunch of new different things into the channel, obviously, because I'm at home more and my life has sort of changed. I'm not living on the road anymore. I get to enjoy actually having a life. So uh, I've always called my vlogs just sort of, uh, like it's always been TJV, right? Trucker Josh vlogs. And I've always sort of labeled my trucking videos, uh, my trucking life. But I think I'm going to start calling it a trucker's life or just trucker no, no a trucker's life because the vlog is more about my life not just the trucking side of it so the vlogs won't change i don't know i'm just spitballing ideas right now it's late i'm getting tired <laughs> i am really excited for what the future holds in store for me though big time in my life right everything's been sort of the same for so long and now trying to find out where my best fit is. It's sort of exciting. Diesel. <laughs> so we won't be hauling grain, but we got other things lined up. It's, uh, it's gonna be all right. I was looking forward to that a lot. And you know, it, it was, 
very disappointing. I really thought that it was a completely different place than it turned out to be. And, uh, you know, I was warned before going there, you know, that there's a high turnover rate for a reason. And uh, it's hard for them to hold on to people because not a lot of people really want to stay there. And, you know, I... <laughs> I don't believe everything I hear all the time. You know, I'll give everybody a fair shot. And when I show up, I will be completely honest. I'll be completely open right off the bat saying, this is who I am. I'm going to bring my best to the table. And uh, you won't regret having me on your team. Because I will give it 110%. And on top of all that, my allergies uh, would have definitely gotten in the way. So, you know, it's all in the past, lesson learnt. Now I know, you know, I'm not going to throw them under the bus or anything, but I'll say I was very disappointed with, uh, I, I just thought that uh, the treatment there was, would be different, but it is what it is, right? That's all I want to say on that. That's all I want to say on that. So we're going to be doing something else. They always say God closes one door, he opens another. Or he closes the door and he opens a window. Or he closes the window, opens the door. Huh? You know what I mean. We're going to be alright. And uh, we're going to keep our positive attitude. We're going to uh, keep saying that it's going to be a good day. And we're going to keep doing our best. And we're going to keep striving to be number one wherever we go. We want to put our best foot forward. And we always want to do our best. Regardless of if people treat us right or not, if they're honest with us or not, always do your best anyway. Okay, at least you can say you did that. Be honest and forthright right off the bat. And just realize that you're not going to get along with everybody. You know, not everyone's going to like you, but you just got to keep moving forward. So with that all aside, I'm going to be focusing... A lot more on my family here at home, a lot more on uh, in the life behind the scenes, maybe focusing on things that I haven't before. You know, it's things that I would, uh, over the last nine years of vlogging, there's a lot more to me than what I've been filming, because I've been off on the road, traveling the continent, it's been very exciting, but uh, I'm excited to move into this next chapter of life. My new, uh, my new TJV gaming channel is taking off pretty well. I'm very happy with with uh, the progress there. Uh, the link is down below in the description if you're into gaming and stuff. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a gamer. I'm doing more of it now that I actually have the time for it. And I usually hang out in the live stream there with you guys and chat with you as we're gaming. It's for some people. It's not for others. But if you want to check it out, link is down below in the description. There's that. And uh, we're going to be focusing on... My wife, the dogs, hopefully we'll have a baby coming along soon. And life is always changing. Life is always evolving. I'm still going to be trucking. I've got a great trucking gig lined up. Very excited about that as well. So, you know, we'll be okay. We're always going to land on our feet. We're like a cat. You're going to toss me off the wall. I'll land on my feet. I guess just for the past decade, I've been at a place that set the bar so high. <laughs> they were such good people and uh, they treated their employees so well. They treated their employees like family, right? It wasn't just that it was family run, it was family oriented. There's, those are two very different things. When you say you're family oriented or family run, if it's family run, it's all about that family, all right? And you're just the peasant, you know, doing their dirty work so that their family can succeed. When you're family oriented, you care about all of the families of your employees as well, just as much as you as you care about your own, right? Because you want them to succeed as well, because a rising tide raises all boats, right? You want everyone around you to succeed. You don't want to be the person who's only thinking about yourself. And trying to get yourself to succeed because it's very, very difficult and pretty much impossible to succeed when you're just trying to lift yourself up, right? The waves are always going to drag you back down. When you try to get everyone else around you to succeed as well, 
tide rises all boats, right? It's a really good saying that I, I like to think of. I like to make everyone around me succeed. And I was at a place that was very much like that. I was very happy. And I've heard horror stories from other places throughout the years. And, you know, some of them seemed so unreal, but not so much anymore. Not so much anymore. I've been spoiled uh, with really good, great places to be. Uh, but... Anyways, like I said, we'll land on our feet. I got another one, another gig lined up, and I, I think it's going to be one of those great companies to be with as well. We'll see what happens, but it's going to be good. So thanks for listening, everybody. I appreciate it. Sometimes you just need to vent a little bit. I took a couple of days off. I didn't uh, upload anything the last couple of days. I was a little upset with how uh, disappoint. Well, I was disappointed with how everything turned out. You know, I was really excited about it and uh, gave myself a couple of days just to think it over. And I really, I really think now that I dodged a bullet. You know, I wouldn't have been happy there. And uh, everything happens for a reason. So I wish them all the best in the future. And uh, on to bigger and better things. All right, we're making a vlog. Right now, actually, this is the next day. I'm filming one for tomorrow. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you then. Remember, be number one today.